I really love this type of designing. It's a little bit rustic, it's a little bit informal, it's got some lovely textures, it's got some lovely shape, and it's just perfect for designing at the moment where everything seems to be 70s inspired. This I think is one of the first designs I ever learnt to make when I was like about 12 or 13 and my mum had lots and lots and lots of these containers and over the last three or four weeks when I've been wandering around this becoming more and more on the market at my place and I just thought ah this could be a perfect time to share how to do something with very few elements but something that looks very striking and inviting and with the colour it's just sort of like if you've got a, a room that's got no colour in it, this could be perfect to just give you a lift. Great for the autumn, great for the winter, or actually great for all year round. Now, I've also got a cotton flower. I've had lots and lots of people asking me what you can do, what you could do with them and how to design with them. You know, as they are on their own, they're beautiful. And I think that just by bringing the colours and the textures into this lovely container is going to look really nice. So just give me a moment and I'll strike it and I'll show you how how to put it together. It's very, very easy. Okay, so here's the container. Let's have a look at it close up. Isn't that just beautiful? I love this, the lovely smoothness and the sheen of the ceramics and then this lovely interplay of design that goes around the outside. You know, as a piece of art, it's really beautiful just on its own. I love it. And the other thing that I love is it's got a narrow neck, which means I don't have to worry about using any foam because let's face it, you don't always have foam on can do you. And the reason, the other reason I love this container is, and I use them all the time, I've got lots now because I've just fallen in love with them again after all of these years. They look nice with just single flowers, like Blossom looks really beautiful in this, or a couple of stems of Magnolia, or you could put a, love, a couple of fresh orchids into it. It's just, you know, a perfect, perfect container for, especially for the design that I'm going to show you today. So I've got one cotton flower stem, I've got five of the Voodoo flowers. Now you could use a fresh or artificial. I just happen to have access to the artificial because you know how I like artificial and it's a great way of me being able to help you because I've got access to these all through the year. The other thing I'm using is a bit of the honesty and it's really lovely and refreshing to me to see that this is actually coming back into vogue and I want to know who is it that decides what is in vogue and what isn't in vogue. I think it might have to have something to do with interior designers or fashion designers. I'll get to the bottom of it and let you know. Plus, I've got a couple of stems of berries here, artificial again, which I really love, but you could use hawthorn berries or whatever you've got access to. But I just love that when I look into these little berries here beside the voodoo um, succulent, and then with the, the lovely line here and the darkness of the branch of the cotton flower, I then can see that that is transferring itself into that container. So if you're ever stuck and thinking, oh, I don't know what to use, that use to, to put into this container, just look at what nature did, because nature's really the best colorist in the whole wide world. Okay, so to start with, I'm not cutting anything, I'm just bending up the stems. Put one stem into there like so, and I'm going to put another one into the side. And also by bending up those stems, it actually gives me a bit more bulk into my container here. So that can go into there. I've got one piece of the honesty. That can go into the back like so. And if you're stuck, normally the rule is one and a half to two times the height or the width of the container, whichever is the greatest. So we've got a bit of length now, so I can just take that up. Also, by using the honesty, the honesty connects and picks up the lovely sheen and luster of the ceramic, which is quite nice. And then I've got one cotton flower, which I'm just going to put into there like so. And this is, so this could either be a uh, three-sided like front and sides and could go up against the back or it could sit on a kitchen server or counter or table. And then it's just a matter of, and if you're using these fresh, just put a little bit of water into the base there, just a matter of circling those lovely succulents around the edge and I'm putting the darkest biggest form is going towards the rim or the neck of my container for the simple reason that what will happen is your eye and I do, didn't want anything along the sides of my container because I think that the, as a piece of art that's really beautiful that patterning that's on the side of your container then to your eye hits these 
big round voodoo succulents and then with the line here this just goes up and that little ber those berries connect down into here they also connect back into the container I've got this lovely sheen of the honesty up the top and then the lovely cotton flowers resting in behind them simple designing I just love it thanks for watching and I will see you again another day Thank you.